Hey y'all, uh, Matt from TPSTool.com. I'm going to show you how to adjust the throttle position sensor on a, this is a 2023 TC125. Uh, quick and easy. Here we go. So here we are with our 2023 TC125. Uh, we're going to adjust the throttle position sensor to lean it out a little bit. Um, these come a little bit rich from the factory. Uh, we're going to use our TPSTool.com Pro Powered Meter to do it. This is how we configure the meter. Uh, black and ground, red and feedback, or FB, and green and 5 volts. Uh, these are done this way because um, the same plugs work on many different motors and sometimes they're wired different, so this makes the tool super flexible. Uh, it's the Model 3 plug. Uh, our throttle position sensor is under this cover, so let's get started. So we're gonna, you, you, By the way, do not have to power up the bike. Do not have to remove the seat. And in this video, we're going to show you uh, not just how to make the adjustment, but also how to set the base value in case you want to double check where it comes from the factory or put anything back, you know, if you get lost in the weeds you want to start from zero again. So remove that cover, here's your throttle position sensor. We're going to remove this plug right here, squeeze it with your finger, pull it off. Okay, we're going to plug in our tpstool.com powered meter. There we go, and we're set to 0.49 from the factory on this bike, and, and notice you did not have to remove the seat, did not have to power up the bike at all, okay? I'm already, it's been like, what, less than a minute, I'm already plugged in. So what I'm going to show you now is how to check the base value. That's the value of the throttle plate fully closed. So at idle, we're at 0.49. Uh, the idle screw, we're going to back it out all the way. It's back here. This mount is in the way, so we're going to remove it. Only, it's only in the way because my hands are, I have big fat hands. If you have small hands, you can get back there. You don't need to remove this. There we go. So we're gonna take this off. Take it off just so we can get our hands in there. And now we're going to keep an eye on on the numbers here, and we're going to turn the idle screw out until the numbers stop changing. That means the throttle plate's fully closed. So I'm going to set this here. Okay. See the numbers are changing as I'm turning the idle screw out. Numbers are going down because the throttle plate's closing. So I'm just going to keep turning until the number's all the way down. There we go. So I'm turning the screw, the number's not moving anymore. So 0.38. So this bike from the factory is set to 0.38 with the throttle plate fully closed. So if we get to a situation we're playing with it, we get messed up, we don't know where we are and we want to start from zero, close the throttle plate fully, set it to adjust the throttle position sensor until this reads 0.38, and then you're right back where you started. So I'm going to turn the idle back up to where we were, and then we'll make the adjustment. So we're just going to write this down for future reference. Okay, so again, I'm going to turn the idle up. And again, you don't have to remove that engine mount if your hands are small to fit in here. I've got big fat hands. Point four nine. Okay, so this is where we started. So now what we're going to do, uh, we're at point four nine. This bike runs a little rich. We want to lean it out just a little bit. So we're going to try point four six. Point four six uh, is something that worked on other bikes well, and so we're going to try on this one as well. It worked on other one twenty five as well. So we're going to try on this one. So we're going to switch our bits here. We're going to crack these guys loose. And the sensor is really sensitive when you move it. So we're just going to loosen these screws. And we're going to rotate the sensor until it reads 0.46. And now the reading may change a little bit when you tighten the screws. So just be aware of that. You may have to try a couple times to get it where you want it. 0.46. So now I'm going to snug the screws up. There we go. So now we're set to 0.46. Uh, it's, now it's going to be a little bit leaner than it was, and we'll take it out and see how it works. And at the same time, if you think your throttle position sensor may be bad, what you can do to test it to make sure the sensor is good is while you're watching the reading, I'm going to open the throttle slowly all the way to full throttle. This is how the ECU knows how far open the throttle is. And notice the numbers changed smoothly. It didn't drop to zero or jump. I'm going to go back down, close the throttle. Okay, and there we go. And this one's changed smooth, so the throttle position sensor is good. It's been adjusted a little bit leaner. We're going to take it out, uh, give it a test. Now we'll just pop this plug off. Back into the bike, put the cover back on, engine mount back on, go out and give it a ride. Just that easy.